Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Thieves Incorporated session. Eighteen. That eighteen. Um, sorry, I was just there's something else. Oh, um, I was like, I literally just told you. <clears throat> no, no. Um, there's something on screen. Uh, where where last we left off, our intrepid adventurers had decided to. Take a load well, off. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just kind of rested for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Did a variety of things. Uh, but they finally got their stuff back from we, Bellatros. We got our also stuff. Gave we got him... paid. Wait. Oh, I guess I'll just leave that to you. Um, and, and mostly just hanged out with their vampire child that they that they like a lot more than I thought they did. Um, yeah, let's yeah. go around the table. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dicker, we have... <laughs> what did you do? Uh, I translated some papers and found out that there's a company trying to gas the entire city. And yeah. And I, was, I also bought some no stuff good. to prepare to fix the poison issues. All right. Yes. Um, hey, Mon, what did you do? I learned how to make bombs out of trash. Hmm. That you did, lass. That mm-hmm. you did. <laughs> uh, you also paid right. with cocaine um, for a bag of holding. Oh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> that was yeah, amazing. I did yeah, guys I, none of you even thought to question it. Ticker and hey, Scarborough were just like, oh, Scarborough okay. Was proud of me. This, 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 this is usual. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Oh, yeah, Scarborough was yeah. like, he was proud of me. I grew up so fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just the whole, just, just, you know the first rule of pickpocketing, right? Don't get caught, out of girl. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, crap, I have two kids now. <laughs> Skurvo, what was Skurvo up to? Uh, Skurvo was up to, was uh, generally up to uh, uh, trying to actually be a dad around the, around the vampire child that he has unintentionally neglected in the last couple sessions. <laughs> um, and then finally, Sadar. Trucker, okay. I sat around, and for some reason, the party decided the giant snake that eats small humanoids should be the babysitter. Nothing happened, You've though. only expressed interest in eating the rat. And we did threaten you when we left you. This is true. Babysitter. I mean, I did point out <laughs> that, that elves are not tasty at a in the slightest. Yeah, we yeah, still threaten you, and yeah. we will continue to threaten you. <laughs> so it's like, so it's just like, we don't like you, but babysit the kid, will you? <laughs> I have no choice but to have you babysit the child. She, and like, like eye glowing red, she best be in the condition I left her in. Anyways, toodles. <laughs> uh, clearly, well, yes. I clearly have a Medusa head and a whole mm. bunch of potions to fix the Medusa per- uh, petrified condition in a sack. And so you just petrify them, and then right before everyone comes back, you unpetrify them and be like, perfectly behaved child. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do anything at all. Oh my, oh my gosh, you I mean, came up with the, I didn't do anything. <laughs> you just came up with the shadiest yet probably most lucrative uh, babysitting service I've ever heard of. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I mean, the kids will probably be traumatized, but, you know, as long as they don't fully understand what's happening. Garden gnomes, you know? Lawn ornaments. We change them out every hour. It, it's a game for the kids. Excuse me, I, I need to move this one inside before... Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, excuse me, I'm here to pick up Timmy. Uh, here's your son. Uh, c- come on, Timmy. <laughs> Where was I? It, don't, it's best not to worry about it. <laughs> uh, he got a lot right. of sun. <laughs> all right, I'm so off. setting the scene. Um, I think you would die. So, uh, the evening, well, actually, no, I guess it's already past evening. Uh, the night, well, let's sit. Uh, the night brings about a cold chill as the 
as the majority of the party walks their way home back from the night market as the after uh, finding a certain um, well a certain bag of holding um, uh, for for Paimon and, and Paimon also getting a note of sorts. Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah, you got, you, yeah, you got the, yeah. The, the thief skill. skill. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we are. I'm pretty sure we had already made it back. We had. Uh, yeah. 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 I, oh. Well, most of us made it back because I think it got to a point where. Well, yeah, Scribble went, went off to work, back. but the rest of yeah, us made yeah. it back already. Well, no, yeah. no, this is simply setting this thing. So you guys walk back as you as you head back to the house, yeah. and, and right. you go to the house. Um, everything is uh, perfectly fine for the most part. Yep, we have a very happy Clara. We have a, we have a suspiciously quiet Sadar. <laughs> I haven't done anything like literally like I, I, I basically just sat yeah. there and watched which is with, very with suspicious. Amusement is like, <laughs> like oh, calm yourself. I'm studying. Yeah. Like curious yeah. creatures you are. Yeah, <laughs> just sat curious. in the background and just um, just watching to see if Clara doesn't act accidentally get herself bit on your flying snake. <laughs> that play would be the, unfortunate. Yeah, play with a flying snake while the. <laughs> yeah, does anyone have any toxins? Why? What happened? Well, she decided well, to play with the poison snake and got bit. <laughs> well, me, I guess this is the night bitches die. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, of course. The other snake, the small snake. <laughs> <laughs> Which is surprisingly, I'm pretty. I think actually, <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, the my pet flying snake's bite is is, is more lethal, poison wise than mine is. Well, it's a familiar hand attack. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, well, it's a, in the wild, larger snakes tend to have. Weaker poison. Well, no, 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 no. Poison. Naga, na Naga have a bite attack, 1d4 plus strength, plus con save, or take 1d4 poison, and the flying snake has one piercing damage plus 3d4 poison on a failed con save. Um, yeah, but once again, same logic. Smaller cobras are a lot more deadly than, uh, let's say, like, giant boa cobras, conspiracy. which are, yeah. Well, I mean, they, well, I mean, boas don't really. Don't really use don't, venom. They they, they prefer use venom the, at all. the old. They just yeah, they just every squeeze in your body. body. <laughs> they just yeah. They just crush you. Instead, let's food slide down easier. Yep. Um. So yes, you guys have made it back to the house. Um. Except for probably Scurvo, who probably immediately left. Mm -hmm. I I think what happened was we were close to making it to the house, and then Scurvo realized, bloody hell, is that the time? I best knock off to work, and then he, and then he left. I think that's what happened. Um, what does the rest of the party want to do? I will be back. Uh, let's see here. I'd like to try again to identify that mystery potion. Yeah, yeah. Mystery potion. I tried once and failed. All right. Mhm. Mm well, I guess it's time to try again. Uh, I guess while that's happening, uh, I bought, what do you want? That's to? a nat 20. Oh, yo! Oh, yeah, it, it, it's a potion of spider climb. Ooh! Okay. I will return that's the potions convenient. to Paimon and explain what they are. Oh, yeah, bet, a, a potion of healing that just looks a little off, but is just a potion of healing. And a potion of spider climbing. Which I assume gives you a climbing speed on the spider climb feature. Yes. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check out the 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 flyer. Alright. Um you check out the flyer uh and make a oh let's see. Um a investigation check uh but add your proficiency. Okay, 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 okay. I have returned. Okay. Is that right? Is that my first Uh, yeah. Wait. 
Proficiency is plus three, so whatever plus your modifier is. Yeah, 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 it's plus, plus six. Okay. Um, you can tell that the flyer is written in code. Um, uh, it's, it's like the code, I, I don't know, it's, it's something. A there... very mysterious language called Thieves Can't. Yeah, I was about to say, is it Thieves Can't? The, the thing that... Thieves Can't what? On, only half the party knows, apparently, at this point. Yeah. yeah. Which... Oh, good, good. I, I'm, I'm, I'll miss the fact that one of the, com one of the moments I had with Theron was that we... was that we not only spoke in Elvish... But we spoke thieves can't elvish, <laughs> so absolutely elvish. nobody knew what we were talking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. Secret code, man. Secret code. So in other words, what well, would be even is, better? Teach. What would be even I'll better is if I took rogue levels and one of, and one of the other and one of our current rogues somehow got proficiency with thrycreen. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was in saying. Thieves okay. can't thrycreen. And yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. You that's have just that's just a teaches you. It's a secret high pitched screech. <laughs> well, that's that's the thing. Skurvo teaches you Steve's can't, and you program Thrycreen into him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes. So, uh, so the trimming of the basically like the letters, you realize that it makes up smaller words. And in those smaller kind of code phrases, you make out the listen. Um, you make out that there is a specific meeting time that happens, well, that you can come in either for any night of the week, save be for uh, payday, which I believe was yesterday. Mm -hmm. No, that was today. Um, so, other than payday, and then you could just waltz into this establishment. Sounds good. I'll do that. And then it gives you the secret code phrase of <clears throat> um, a, a toll for my troubles, which is the code phrase that'll get you into the actual guild. Okay, so it's a toll for my troubles? Yes. Toll for my troubles. Okay, okay. You have freaking Scurvo come in. A toll for me troubles. That's not the code. Click. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> freaking anal about pronunciation. <laughs> Um, Sadar, is there anything you wanted to do? Um, nothing particular. Oh, okay. Uh, that I can think of. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna fiddle with trying to uh, concentrate the poison for now because it's yeah, in the we don't have ship it. That we... Yeah, Does, it's, it's, it's in the ship that we do have, but the ship we need to unfold, which you, is, you, requires a lot of space. You, uh, not only that, you don't have a Scurvo. Uh, that's also true. Scurvo's um, off at work. I will. Yeah, I will so... spend the rest of the. I, I'm spending the rest of the long rest just tinkering on what looks like a, a, a copper locket, just made of scraps. Aww. Um. Let's see. Okay. Uh, uh, it's... Yep. Uh, it's Skirvo, you go to another day of work with uh, with with, with the. Right hands over eyes. Dark notion. I, I think we might have. I don't know if it was last night or this night, but I think we might have done, already done the joke of what was happening this night. Because I think we did a whole. They hired yeah. a guy named Joey who decided to quit because he couldn't handle. Like, it was the, the dark notion guy was fine. It was Scurvo that was the problem. He <laughs> can't. Look out for undead when there's a skull-faced machine just sitting right next to him. He, he can't deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, wait. <laughs> so he quit. Call me a coward if you will, but this is... I just can't do this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that part is um, done. Uh, anything anyone else wanted to do during the night other than... Uh, 
I rolled, I, already a lot. My, I already rolled my hit dice, so oh, I want I want to read the anarchist cookbook more. All right, uh, you get girl. another four hours unless you want to like use the entirety of your long rest too. But then you might get yeah. some penalties for that. All right. Um, and that concludes the night. Um, Tigger, did you want to make, like, some kind of, uh, roll to make the lock? It's just a thematic thing, so. Okay, alright. Never mind. It's literally just a thematic thing. It mechanically is just... It, it doesn't do anything mechanically. It's just... Thematically, it's the way I will be casting this Dole's Magic Aura. Oh, okay. Because I'm an artificer, and I have to be, like, and my my magic is tinkering, so I'm making an amulet that does this, but it can't store all that much magical energy, which is what I'm trying to tinker with to make it store more. Ah. And out of character, okay. I'm not going to be able to succeed. I'm going to have to recharge Nistol's Magic Aura every day, because it has a duration of 24 hours. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, sometime during the night, uh, notice it. Um, so are you in the attic while this is happening? Yeah. Okay, so sometime during the night, um, the, the door opens, and it, it's the two little goblinoid buddies. Okay, I guess one of them is, like, same height as you, but, um, they just kind of arrive, and then kind of go to the well, go to the attic area where you are, and then go to kind of like the patio place. Right. And it looks like that they're just building like a little garden. All right. Aw. Oh. They're, they're, they're uh, growing the stuff they found. Mm-hmm. Yes. Excellent. Um. <clears throat> I was wondering what their plan was, considering that Considering that most of us don't speak Goblin, Skurva really needs to upgrade his language index. <laughs> uh, and then it is the next morning. Uh, by that period of time, uh, the, six, the two Goblinoids, Gretchen and Brobnar, just kind of six, just sleep in the attic while you're still tinkering. Okay. You know, it just occurred to me that that both of Clara's adopted dads don't sleep. <laughs> and that is weirdly disturbing in its own way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like, all right, off to bed, Clara. Well, I'm going to work. <laughs> yep, me, me too. <laughs> um. Uh. Uh, so yes, it is, it is the morning, um, hi, Ma. Yes? Uh, you wake to find that you are surrounded by what seems to be a pillow fort. Ah. Uh, <laughs> is there a Clara with her? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna go back to sleep. Okay. <laughs> I take one look at the pillow fort, and I just roll over. <laughs> He's, he, Clara likes you now. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you don't like you? I don't like Clara. Well, Paimon doesn't. I, I like Clara, but <laughs> Paimon Clara doesn't? doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Because I was about to be, I was about to be like, no, Maddie, no. what's what's wrong with Clara? But then you were like, you're like, no, no, I like Clara. <laughs> Oh, like okay, that's fair. Maddie likes Clara, but for some reason Paimon doesn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, if that I remember correctly, sense. she did drain Paimon once. Yeah, true. Oh, this that is, is true. true. But like, does she really know that it was Clara that did that? I mean, it took Theron never to figure it out. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess not. <laughs> Doesn't like Clara in general. <laughs> she's like, she's like, no, being the kid's my thing. <laughs> she, she doesn't mm -hmm. like anybody, man. Yeah. This is true. Uh, that is true. Let's see. 
Um, okay, so, uh, Scurvo, you, you come back in the morning from your long shift about uh, Dark Notion's entire... Oh, I'm sorry. Dark Notion's <laughs> big talk about uh, how we must all grasp onto the long flowing hairs of the purple orangutan of normalcy in order to live in society. Meanwhile, and, meanwhile, all Scurvo could think of is, is, and, you know, the last thing you want to do is grab hold of a purple orangutan's fur. That's how you get your arms ripped off. <laughs> yeah. And then, Don't ask why Scurvo knows this. <laughs> Um, but yes, uh, <laughs> anything you guys want to do today? Ew. How many do I have left? Oh, I'm poor. Well, uh, first here. Well, I think what we decided on was we were going to, uh, we were going to finally talk to Red Orb Holder. Yes, I think that was the consensus. I think that's what we were finally going to do. <laughs> yeah. After all this time. <laughs> uh, uh, real quick, first, before we do anything, I want to see about something. Is that tower within a mile of the location we're in? The, the house we're in? Um, yes. Okay. I would like, uh, when we leave, I would like to cast alarm on the door uh, so that I know if anyone, and I'll tell everyone else what the password is, so I know if anyone, anyone besides us enters there. As long as I'm within a, within a mile of it. So, all right. All right. <clears throat> Um, while, uh, while we go to the, uh, the tower thing with, with, with potential red dragon or person, uh, do we want to bring Clara with us, leave her here at, at our hideout, so to speak, or if I recall correctly, didn't Anastasia have kids in the shop with her? Well, we, we, uh, we explored that possibility before, I think. I don't Did think we? that worked out. Um. Well, well, uh, okay, Anastasia's aware that... Scurvo's watching a, <laughs> watching a kid. No, no, no. no. My point is, my point is, weren't there all like the first time we went into her shop? Weren't, weren't there kids there? So in theory, we could ask. Uh, yeah, we could. could. I don't watch. think we ever actually truly asked, but I don't think she we did, seemed no. extremely. But the thing is, is she seemed extremely apprehensive about the whole vampire thing. Oh, that is true. Which was that is uh, true. and and uh, and it's not like we can lie that she's not a vampire child because not only will Clara just straight tell her, but also I'm pretty sure she already knows because Scurvo came in asking weird ass questions about vampires all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, the vampires <laughs> and the child vampires. Yep, and then he <laughs> what's up, and vampire? then he proceeded, and then much to her concern, he bought two bottles. <laughs> And then left. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, uh, after having asked where a nearby butcher was. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally the reason I was casting alarm eight. on the door so that we would know if something was going down. Okay. okay, okay. So. I know that it's not uh, a perfect it, solution, but at least it'll it lasts mean, for eight hours. So, okay. Okay. You know, the so, worst case scenario, what we, what we could do, we could do is we could have, uh, no. we could have, we could have Robnar and Gretchen watch her for the day. Yeah. We could, yeah. And grant, granted, Gretchen's probably going to ask for a fee for it, but Robnar is going to be fine with it. <laughs> if I ask Gretchen because I'm besties with her, maybe yeah. she'll do it for free. Maybe. 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 I mean, you never know with Gretchen. That's a big baby. That's a, that's a big that's a big maybe. Go talk to your girlfriend. Yes, the, <laughs> the 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 alarm is not actually audible. It is a silent alarm. But it but if I'm within a mile of the door and someone that is not one of the party or one of the party NPCs, because uh, I can actually designate creatures that won't set off the alarm. Um, oh. Whenever any of them open the door, 
I hear a ping in my mind with a, if I'm within a mile of it. So. Okay. So I will know. Then, uh, yeah. and then we can all go bomb rushing back to base. Yep. And I still have Featherfall prepared, <laughs> so if we're on top of the tower, we can just jump off and I cast Featherfall. Imagine and... that. <laughs> Imagine that. Just It's just like Skurvo's talking to the dragon and a great speech, and then and then Ticker goes, and then Ticker goes, somebody just entered our house. And then, then Skurvo, excuse me. And then he just leaps off the tower. <laughs> we all just jump off the tower, I guess, Featherfall, or we just... Because Featherfall, you still fall pretty quick. Yeah, you still fall yeah. at a at a rate of sixty feet per round. Yeah. Uh, Not that I'm honestly probably... expecting Spencer to do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. <laughs> well, like that <laughs> doesn't instill confidence. <laughs> Like, what I expect is, like, when you're going to throw Vladimir at us, you'll throw him at us, like, when it's obvious and we'll be there kind of thing. It won't just be yeah, yeah. while we're gone, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Because right, right, hurt. right. In all yeah, cases yeah, of Vladimir. Yeah, because that's, that, that would be completely unfair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I feel like since and, that's the and story find her completely you're completely dismembered for, all over the place. Impaled on a pike. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, don't know. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, um, yes, so. Paimon, uh, you wish to speak? Yeah, yeah I'm going to talk to Gretchen and see if she and Bropnar could babysit the kid for a bit. All right. Um... She is a, a bit tired at the moment, as she's only had, like, four hours of rest. Uh, so, so she wakes up, it's like, uh, hello? Mm. Hi. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, do you think you can watch the kid for a bit? Uh, the kid? Yeah. Sure. Uh... How long we talking? Yeah, uh, how long we talking? We're probably only going to be gone for like maybe a couple hours. A couple hours at most. Uh, Is that okay? Yeah, sure. We could we'll talk to Bravnar. It's like we'll we'll watch her. I guess. Yeah. Oh, sweet, thank you. I might fall asleep. Yeah. Okay, uh, have fun. Oh, we will. <laughs> I don't have access to any Keep spells yet that, that help with this. Yeah. <laughs> I will. There are spells I can get access to that eventually that will help with this, but I don't have access to any of them yet. You know, it was one of my personal favorite uses of Lay on Hands. Hmm. In, a, in a different game, I had a character who was completely hungover. So he was... He was having a, he was trying to have people be real quiet because he had a murderous headache. And so our paladin cast Lay on Hands and slapped my character sober. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like um, that sometimes. <laughs> yes. All right. So um, the, the party goes on their adventure towards the Great Spire of Jazeera. Um, the, the, listen, once again, the morning business is as usual, strange, and enticing smells start entering the air as the local bakery is now opened, with several types of delicacies are now fully, I, I, I guess, fully in smelling distance, as, listen, as it brings on this kind of Dreamy like scent with several different spices polluting the air with its fragrance. Um, this was the the spire, or at least the square around it, is as busy as ever with several street vendors, beggars, and other such individuals 
scattered along the way trying to either acquire money in some fashion or well, either through the business of selling or simply just begging. As Paimon looks and goes, he goes, oh, hey, my usual spot. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah, but but she's not going to beg right now. Because she's, <laughs> she's not going to beg you. right now. We it's, on the job. It's we're on the job. <laughs> <laughs> we on the job, bros. <laughs> Gotta Got fulfill this. that grind set. <laughs> it's like, Gotta make that just, bread, man. <laughs> I I just kinda I, I kinda can't help but but imagine it's just like Paimon being like being like Alright, back to the grind. And then just and like lays out a little towel and then just then sits on it. Coin despair. Got any change? Yeah. Helms for the poor. <laughs> yeah. And then, you can't. And then, like the next day, and then like the next day, she's like, "All right, back to the grind," and pull, pulls out grenades and walks out the door. <laughs> you can't smoke dank unless you make the bank. Another day. <laughs> oh my god! Another day, another another day, another silver. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Anyways, uh, but yes. anyways, let us make way to. To the tower itself, if we when, are able to get entrance. Uh, you reach the base of the spire. The base of the spire is a lot wider than the peak, uh, simply because there are more rooms down on the bottom levels. In front of you are what seem to be two large colossi that block the door kind of standing guard in their silent, stony gaze. guess I should have said that. There we go. Um, The door itself is, well, is a large, almost velvety in color. Several, or at least about, what was it? Uh, they are about 12 feet in height, and they are studded with shoot the description. They are studded with uh, golden ornaments displayed all over. And in the center, well, in the center of the two doors, or at least kind of towards your level, are two large knockers um, made out of what appears to be. Uh, lion's heads. Uh, <laughs> this isn't actually what happened, but like when you said knockers, the first thing that came to mind is just Bobby's. Gervo and Ticker look at each other, like like a few gestures later, they just suddenly rock paper scissors real quick before Gervo snaps his fingers and walks towards the door. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but uh no 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 what actually happens is uh skurvo who is still not looking great uh hit points wise still not looking great how many hit points you missing about half (laughs) i'm gonna burn a couple spell slots here because i can all right because i i was heal you yeah you you regain 15 hit points oh Perfect. That might actually have put me to full. Let me just math that real quick. Uh, 15 plus 18, that's 30. Or, or, that's 30. 33? 15 plus 18 is going to be 30. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 33. Okay, yeah, I'm almost to full. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to save my last spell slot in case we need to do that feather fall thing. Yep. Or, mm-hmm. you know, any uh, anything else we might need to do all of a sudden. Well, yeah. You you can still use your artificer equipment, right? Yes. All right, good, good, good. As long as you can still electrocute the crap out of things when needed. Yep. 
I can mm -hmm. use my I can use my thunder claw without having to expend anything. So, uh, anyways, eyeballing the. So uh, I, I eyeball the colossi for a second before I uh, approach the door, and uh, and I. <laughs> oh boy. Why do I have the feeling this is a mistake? I use I uh, utilize the knockers. All right. <laughs> knockers. Um. What great knockers! <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry, I couldn't Beesh. help it. So, um, uh, it's occurred to you that you have well, it's, it's too heavy for one hand, so you use both hands yeah. on a single one. Um. And, and, and when you bump against it, it it, it makes a loud. Let's it, it makes shoot. I guess loud not the best word. We'll just say it makes a loud sound that kind of let's it shudders you. Um, <laughs> as it as it as the metal knocker rings servo <laughs> instead I of the reverberating door. Reverberating is the term. Ding. Reverberate. Oh, yeah, yeah, reverberate. <laughs> just. Um, and oh, then funny, just a moment of silence ringing. <laughs> as everyone as you can feel everyone's eyes in the plaza on the party many individuals like slink farther away from you and some just kind of lay limp on the ground watch in horror well, I mean, we uh, weren't told anything serious was going to happen. It, it sounded more like a verbal disagreement. I know we asked Belladros about this. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, so I don't think anything serious should happen. I think it's more just provoking. like no one ever gets in there, maybe, or something like that. No yeah. one ever gets in here. <laughs> no one asks to get in here. Let's see. The, the last people who asked, I guess, well, let's see. Um, you didn't hear gather information about this, so you don't know that the last people that went in there haven't left. Ah. Oh. Um. Well, so. we'll watch as Scurvo gets melted down into slag. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> uh, so the door only opens a smidge. But a large, what was it? A, a large cloud of gas starts to fill the air. I guess it's not really gas; it's more like a reddish mist. Um, what was it? That kind of pushes you away from the door. Um, and there, or or at least after a, what was it? After what seems to be twenty or so seconds. A being forms. Um, I, I guess, like, all of you make a kind of check with that be. Um, uh, what are these guys classified as? Uh, either a religion check or a uh, nature check. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, I will do nature. I will do that they as are nature, the same even though it's me. the same. Well, for me, it, it's not the same. All right, nature. Ooh, 21. 18, was not expecting that, and... Right. Oh? Um, okay, I guess every single one of you pass. Uh, <laughs> the being before you is... Shoot. Give me a second. Um, is wait, shoot, crap. Um, you good? Uh, I, I'm good. I just forgot the name of what <laughs> what this is. Um, I, I I had it. it was on the tip of my tongue, but it's not that. Um. Oh, this is a Ifrit. Well, an Ifriti. Oh, fire! Genie. I forget what those are. 
Ah. Genie, okay. As it forms in front of you with one of those, uh, with a feathered hat and and says to you, who goes there? Oh, good morning. My name is Captain Scurvo. <laughs> the Efreedy looks at you with one eyebrow raised. <laughs> Uh, surprisingly calm given the situation. Uh, um, I was. Uh, uh, has he said anything else, or? Well, he just kind of looks at you with one eyebrow raised. Mm -hmm. And your compatriots. Well, this is. Well, this is Mister. That over there is Mister. Mr. Ticker, the small one is Miss Paimon, and and the slithery one is Sitar. When he mentions my name, I just briefly uh, raised my fez and then set it back down on my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what business do you have here? I simply wished to... I simply wished to speak to the. We simp. Er, uh, <coughs> excuse me, dying. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> pardon me. Uh, let me just hydrate real quick. Don't mind me, just choking on my own blood. Fuck, oh, bitch. Uh, all right. Uh, what what did the what did Bellatros call the uh? Call the lady again, the the red maiden or something like that. Um, I had the I had this written down somewhere, didn't I? I how do I not have the red maiden written down anywhere? had these well we could just say the, like the lady of this tower or something like that yeah 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 mm -hmm. that might have been what he called her actually yeah well i mean uh, just right. just not presuming what her name is just i would like to speak to the lady of this tower yeah 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 you know okay, we know yeah. she exists we That'll know work. she owns this tower we don't yeah, really know yeah. what to call her though yes yes well i wish to speak with the lady with the lady of the tower i i'm afraid i didn't catch her name. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, no, shoot. <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> friendly as a, as far as skull-faced automaton go. <laughs> this guy's surprisingly friendly as far as a freebie go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what an Efreeti is. Apparently, Skurvo knows, but uh, they are fire genies that love to enslave people. Oh, oh lovely, goody! I I had a feeling they were fire something. Yeah, they're fire which, genies. Which which kind of made they which, are like which is... like if you're running an if you're running a um like an elemental themed campaign, they make fantastic campaign villains. Ah. I had a I had a feeling there was something like that because I I know I've heard the term Efreet for like fire demons before. Yeah, there's an item in D and D called an Efreeti bottle that is like a stereotypical genie lamp, uh, <laughs> and it's one of the most volatile items that you can have because yeah, there's the chance that you get that the Efreeti cast casts wish for you, but there's also the chance that the Efreeti just turns on you and annihilates you. It's fair. What do you what business do you have with my mistress? I don't remember any reservations for today. Oh, my apologies. I did not realize an ap an appointment was required. Was a I was not I was not made aware of any I was not made aware of any official channels. Our, our, uh, 
Ignorance is insulting. R, see, you see, I was... You see, I was told by, by that my employer, that my employer and and the lady have come to a sort of an impasse, and I wanted to see if I could not rectify the situation in any way. Hmm. To rectify the situation, you wish to take away my mistress's orb from her. Is that not correct? I mean, that is what our employer wants, but that's not necessarily what we want. I'll just let that be what Ticker says. <laughs> that's pretty good. Couldn't said that. Couldn't have said that better myself. We don't entirely know whether to go through with this entire arrangement yet. Then what is it you have come here for then <laughs> do do you wish to set a reservation do do you wish to waste my time further do you wish to be beheaded for i will gladly <laughs> do so as he raises his massive scimitar kind of towards you then i believe we would like i believe we would like to make a reservation a wise decision <laughs> he takes his uh, <laughs> just, the, just the, a description of a wise decision <laughs> meanwhile Scurvo is sitting here comprehending whether calculating whether or not a decapitation would actually mean instant death for him <laughs> or would he remain functional for at least a few for or or is there enough power remaining in his core processor to leave him alive for a couple hours like a cockroach yeah i don't actually know would, if decapitation would kill a warforged it probably I mean, depends just on, it probably just depends on the warforged to be honest Mm -hmm. It probably yeah. does. I mean, I... like if you were playing Bender in in D and D, he takes his head off all the time. There's an yeah, entire exactly. episode where the plot of the episode is he sells he his, sold body his body and Richard Nixon buys it. Yeah. I mean, I was just, I mean, I was just kind of picturing. Hey, I was just kind of picturing Scurvo getting decapitated. His head goes rattling off, and then, and then when it la when it finally stops rolling, he just goes bugger. <laughs> so <laughs> while his body lies limp <laughs> uh. so what day works for you our open reservations at the time come to hmm, judging from every single other party that has walked up here you have we have a backlog of three hundred years, so oh, wow. we'll pencil you in three hundred years, three uh, three hundred and twenty seven days, fifty two hours and seventeen minutes from this point. Oh, wow, you have a uh, lots of one uh, second. Yes. One second while I write that down just in case, because while everyone else won't survive that, Scarbo sure as hell would. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. What was that again? Uh, Spencer? Um, shoot. I <laughs> forgot. Wasn't really intended years, to be a 300. <laughs> it was intended to be a big number that you weren't supposed to pay attention. <laughs> it was 300 and some years, 327 days, and I don't remember how many hours and minutes. Uh, 17 hours, 23 minutes? Yeah. You're talking to a guy who's been making specific time jokes all the time. Of course I was going to try to keep track of that number. <laughs> 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 okay, 300 years. Did you get today? Do you think Three, we can take, take that? Uh, repeat that. 
Maddie? If there are any cancellations today, can we take that appointment? No. God fucking damn it. <laughs> um, anything you guys want to do? Uh, one sec, I'm still writing down. I'm still writing down the uh, time frame. Uh, uh, so, uh, 20. It was like 15 hours. 27 minutes. Okay. I have that written down. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> what? You didn't think I was serious? <laughs> um, hmm. uh, so uh, we do not want to try and sneak in there or storm in there. That would be suicide. Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, <laughs> 100%. Uh, I mean, if she's a red dragon, that would time. be yeah, we'd be dead. Um, well, you'd be. You, I would just be there. There's a. There's also a possibility that Skurvo just gets melted to the wall and he doesn't die. He just sits there as a decoration for the rest of eternity. <laughs> um, <laughs> Arguably, okay. a fate worse than death. Mm -hmm. All right. I see you guys have not been taking notes. What? Um, uh oh, that's it. Um, name me the information you know about the Red Dragon from various sources. We haven't really got a ton of information other than the fact that she's on top of the tower. And might be polymorphed. Yeah. Might be a, might be a, uh, and the mistress might of be a the, polymorphed My notes dragon. regard to her say, mistress of the spire wears red. Parentheses polymorphed question mark. That is all I have written for her. Yeah, yeah, and the biggest the biggest problem is is that I remember when we did ask for information about her, all there was we no, got no was to be had. there was an impasse and nothing else. <laughs> um, okay, that was uh, that. It's we asked the questions and we didn't get many answers. <laughs> so we stopped asking questions and moved on to the next. Ex subject. Exactly, it's not really it's not really on us to know information that the DM refused to provide. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 it's, um, from, I, it was information told to you by Martin Robinson. Oh. I, crap, yeah. He might have told he, us something he random. He told us a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. He told us a lot. Actually, I think we, I remember asking him about the Red Dragon, but I also remember him saying that he doesn't really talk to her anymore. Yeah, oh. it was that. It was like they were, they used to, they had history together, and, and he doesn't really talk to her anymore. Uh, no, that, that's, that's the other fellow. That, oh, that, that, that was that the blue is, dragon. No, it oh, wasn't yeah. the blue fellow. It was, gosh dang it, I need my notes. <laughs> what? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, the blue fellow was, it was the Draco Lich that's flying around, and the blue... And that guy, and they, they were, they were talking the night we, the night we first saw the yeah, it was, thing. it was someone else. It was someone else. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it was, was either the green guy or. It, it was, it was That's somebody. what his name was. Uh, the, the the guy who actually owns the place. Oh. Who you've heard in passing several times. Oh, oh yeah. Um, yeah. And you know that he has something to do with the oh, it, with the okay. big tomb that Belladros. Is yeah, trying yeah, that's to open. right. I that's right. I did. What was the name again? That was that was a huge. Dulab. Dulab. That's right. I need to. I need to. I need to write that down. If I somehow didn't write that down already, that was. But yeah, like... it was similar to Dulok. Yeah. I do not remember what he said about the red dragon. I mean, yeah, th there was yeah, a. He never lot said anything about. Well, okay. I think he I... specifically said that the I'm All pretty right. sure if it wasn't the red dragon wasn't the one he said he hadn't talked to it was the green one and we just assumed that the situation was the same for the red one because they were in the same area I mean Martin basically said he hadn't talked to most of the dragons so that kind of implied that it was pretty much everyone but the but uh 
Dragargathar or whatever his name was. Um, I feel like that this Mark. would be an in, uh, a wisdom based thing or an intelligence based thing to recall information. Yes, yeah, so a history we'll check. We'll do probably. history check. There we go. Everyone I shall make, make a history, history check. check. All right. I, I don't. I don't think this, well, this character of mine was there when. when oh uh, yes, conversation it wasn't. Um, yeah. yes, oh, wasn't there. Thirteen. Um. Yeah. So. I so, won't. with recollecting, well, listen. You recollect the knowledge that uh, Martin Robinson gave to you. Uh, the listen information he's told you was that um, the previous person that was the red dragon had died a lot well is it very like a very short time ago and was replaced with someone new mm. and this person was very young okay or at least compared to the other one yeah so the information you know is that this person is probably or at least the the new owner of the spire is not an ancient red dragon. Yeah, but they might, but they do still have the orb then. Yeah. Right. And they still command at least one of Freedy. Yeah, and and the biggest problem is is that ancient or no, a red dragon is still not something we can just do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not not at fifth level, unless it was like a wormling. Yeah, but it's probably not a wormling. Yeah, because then they wouldn't be able to polymorph. Yeah, yeah. I believe they have to be at least adult to be able to polymorph. Uh, young might be able to do it, but I doubt it. But even still, a young is like a CR nine or ten, and yeah. we're all level five. So I feel like what this was kind of uh, out of character, real quick. But this was kind of intended to be is. We know where the orb is from the start, but we can't get it until way later because we're not strong enough to get it. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, but it's, maybe. It's, the only that... that, it's the only one left that we know. Well, we kind of know the general area, the black one. But the bronze... We're definitely not strong enough for that. Yeah, but the, the bronze, silver, amethyst, and green ones, we have no idea where they are. Yeah. The gold and emerald have already been turned in. The blue was turned in by our rivals. Yeah. And yeah. then here we are at the red. Yeah, so... Uh, well, okay. I was... Mm, I, this, this one was like, you guys have to be inventive if you want to get it. You guys, once again, just went through the front door expecting to get it. We didn't well, expect we to get it. To talk to the person. We were literally, we were we're literally more told that there was an impasse. So obviously, our first instinct is to see what the impasse actually was. Yeah, like ask them the why do you that, not want the why uh, do you not want them to get the came, orb? We came here to conduct diplomacy. Yeah, why do you and not the want them to get the orb? Is... And then we maybe we find out something about like what Belladurst is actually doing here, and we. And we, I mean, like, start not wanting to give him the orbs or something? I don't know. I mean, for crying out loud, Belladros wouldn't tell us what the impasse was. <laughs> um, and we freaking we freaking asked him for it, it again. It's not... Okay, again, okay, when, so when, when a character is deliberately Watson. hiding information, we can't... It's not like we can just magically know it. <laughs> um. Well, there are spells that do that, but... I, we don't have any of them. Well, there's as, also as far as we insight. know, they don't exist. <laughs> uh, but nobody wants to do that. Okay. Um. So you're asking. Oh, so, so the question you're asking to the e 3 d like what the impasse was? Yeah, I guess uh, we could ask the e 3 d Yeah, I guess we could. Was talking about. Yeah. Sure. I guess. We Only could. I can't say this because I know none of this. I'm. Standing yeah. there watching you all with yeah, rapt fascination, yeah. completely confused as to what's going on. Yeah. Well, at the very, well, at the very least, would you happen to know what the, what the impasse was between, between the ma the lady of the tower and my and my employer? <clears throat> Would this be a thing that only trusted individuals would know? 
No, I guess it wouldn't be. Um, so the impasse is quite simple. Your boss did not like the hours in which we set our time. It seems there was a scheduling conflict. I believe um mm. uh, it is a mixture of that and as well as maybe another problem. Mm, so what you're so you believe that so it, am I correct in believing that the primary that the primary issue was that he was that Belladros argued that a that a normal person cannot cannot wait three uh cannot wait three hundred uh wait one second uh I have it here uh three three hundred years twenty three hundred and twenty five days uh wait fifty uh, 15 hours and 13 minutes. <laughs> I And yes, I did subtract time based on the conversation. <laughs> that is part of the problem. But he has since been banned from this establishment due to uh, abruptly barging in. Something about, oh, I, I cannot wait this much time. Well, that is... I'm curious, how many appointments do you get, do you get each day? We do not set up, or I do not set up that many appointments, for they seem to be taxing on my mistress, for they all seem to ask similar questions. Perhaps perhaps the next one won't be as such. Usually we set appointments about twice a day. Once in the morning and once in the evening. They know when their time Time is, and the door will open when they come. Ah. Well, I suppose with... Well, I suppose with the, uh... Well, I suppose it, uh... It would be a bit of an issue for... Uh, for... For the mistress. Uh, dealing with every little thing every day can be tiring after a while. <laughs> yes. Now, any more questions? Perhaps what you can do is... Um... Is, is there... What's he telling us? Um... You didn't hear this from me, but perhaps maybe you would like to Switch your reservation time with someone else. Hmm. Uh, I I sort of do I sort of do that uh, do that thing where I'm definitely talking talking a bit quieter, you know, as a courtesy for uh, as a courtesy for him. Uh, just just so uh, so if I manage to convince someone else to someone else to drop their appointment. We we simply take their place. <laughs> I believe that is the case. And do we inform do we inform you if something happens or do we just show up at the allotted time in in their place? You show up at the allotted time. There. They will most likely have what you have right now. Um, <laughs> in your hand, there's a ticket number. Yep. 
Uh, Skurvo's ticket number is three. Is t is probably something along the lines of twenty three hundred thousand or something like that. Uh, no, it's um forty two. Hmm. Hmm. A life to the universe and everything. <laughs> ah, yes, the answer to the life, the universe, and everything. Funny number, this. <laughs> and he all heard that. Hmm. <laughs> you, realize, you realize the mass hysteria that would result when everyone realizes that the secret to life is 42? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be mayhem. Sinar just raises an eyebridge at you. <laughs> like, you know, like, disbelief flashed, like, like, mm -hmm. sure, buddy, whatever you say. You're losing your brain, but sure. <laughs> you know, this, this, this one of those meanwhile, meanwhile, the actual, <laughs> meanwhile, the actual story is that Skurvo actually got plugged into a computer that calculated this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For, uh, who knows? Maybe that. Maybe the answer. Maybe that answer is what led to the eventual mutiny. <laughs> uh, but yes. Um, what? Uh, so you guys do now. Ah, uh, well, very well. You have a, you have a pleasant day. Most likely not. He then was it goes back into a gaseous form. And then shuts the door with a loud thud. And then life starts to slowly return to kind of the uh, uh, to the square. Okay. Okay. So, in all honesty, I no, we'll just need to kill. So. Now, how the bloody hell do you expect us to get a, to get somebody else's ticket or convince them to drop their appointment? That is we find someone who's close to death. I like how you're thinking, but there's too many variables with, with that. <laughs> First, we have to find someone with a ticket. Before we can even think about trying to switch or convince them to drop. First of all, we'll need to know who does and doesn't have an appointment. Exactly. And I, and I highly doubt, and I highly doubt, we are, and I highly doubt Mr. Belladros will just have a list knocking around of a... And, of a or, or that, or that, that if Reedy would make that information public... Yeah. Yes. Highly doubt that the highly doubt that the Afriti would make the information public, hence why I didn't ask. He already he already told him. Perhaps we should move this conversation away from the tower for now. We should return to the to our to our to our what is it, the the base, yeah, I guess. Our, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Mr. T Mr. Ticker, would you like me to retreat? Would you like me to retrieve anything from my ship? We... I do have an idea as to how we can recover the poison, but we can resolve that at a later date. Poison? I have a... You have a large container of poison that has been, uh... Wrong story. With... Wrong story. Wrong story. We'll explain Time later. Uh... Well, we'll have... I feel like we're going to have time while we figure this out, Mr. Ticker. Is there even, like, a location we could pull out the ship here, or what? Uh, um, well, most likely, Skurvo's gonna have to leave... Most likely gonna have to leave the city, but while we do that, we could work... We could workshop a couple ideas while half... While some of the party returns to the, uh... Okay, yeah, that seems like it could work. Returns to the... Return to the base. Yeah, probably have to... Paimon and Sadar return to the base to... And then... The two of us go out of the city to do that. Yeah. Okay. Workshopping okay. ideas and figuring stuff out. That seems yeah. like a good way well, to do it, because then we have someone at the base, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we... Ret yeah, we get our... Uh, 
we get our barrel of poison. We uh, have, and so that way this night ticker can look into that. And then uh, when that's dealt with, we then proceed to put that back in the ship. So that way we don't potentially have uh, that problem again. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, okay. So you guys will probably be back by evening, which means Sadar, Paimon, you have the rest of the day to do something. Is there anything you guys wanted to do? Want to go begging. I need the money. Mm-hmm. You want the Thieves Guild? Actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that, that's actually, at night. That's at night. Actually. Yeah. You know what I just thought? Hmm. We could potentially use the Thieves Guild for this. Potentially. Um, I would like to say that on our trip out of the city, I would like to ritually cast Detect Magic to see if this ticket is magical in any way. Um. Oh. I mean, it did just suddenly appear in Skurvo's hand. Well, yes. if, it, it, well it, yeah, but like, that it, could just be there was a spell to create it, not necessarily yeah. the ticket itself is magical. That is true. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, the ticket is magical. All right. I as would like his, to make a mental as note. As captain. <laughs> I would like to make a mental note of its magical signature. <laughs> All right. <Yeah>. Clever. <laughs> you're like, you're just like, you're like, you're, you're looking at the ticket. It's like, the ticket is magical. And so is the captain holding it. This ticket Spectre. appears. <laughs> uh, he just like is inspecting it through like a, like a jeweler's yeah. lens. This ticket yeah. appears to be magical in nature. I'll, I'm recording. I'll record its signature so we can search for similar signatures. That is a smart move, Mr. Taker. Perhaps we could take advantage of the Thieves' Guild. If we could get our hands on... If we could get a... Wait. If we could get some... I don't think either of you know about the Thieves' Guild unless Paimon told you. She did. Oh. And yes. She did. She very much did. <laughs> She made that information that, yeah. a little too public. <laughs> <laughs> but How I didn't give it? you, like, the deets that I found out. Yeah. yeah. Well, we know it exists are... at the very least, and that Paimon got her yeah. invitation. Yeah. We have... Yeah, she didn't tell us how she could meet him, but then again, that's not really our business, considering that we weren't the ones invited. So yep. if we showed up, it would only cause problems. Mm -hmm. There are certain risks with hiring a band of thieves, however. Mm -hmm. I would know you found me in the aftermath of one of those risks. <laughs> well, of course. Uh, also, this, par form this party formerly used to be made of nothing but thieves. Yep. <laughs> you guys are a party of thieves. I mean, the campaign is called Thieves Incorporated, so... Thieves Incorporated, and we haven't done many thieving, so perhaps it's time we start. It's yeah, maybe. because we were idiots and forgot that we were all rogues and decided to attack, like, paladins and barbarians and not, like, rogue. Yeah. I am very much a player who's more designed for just taking damage for everyone else. Yeah, I, but I, I, I'm used to playing in direct that. combat, but... Again, yeah, Ticker is not that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've done indirect combat with Kalani. Well, I mean, that was very direct slash indirect combat, but <laughs> um, but that was uh, that was different, <laughs> very uh, but, different. But yeah, Pylon, uh or roll me to just basic like luck rolls. So just like D twenties. How many? Uh we'll say three. Wait. Yes, three. Hey, if you want, you could also go begging for the day. Mm -hmm. No, that's what she is that's doing. That's what she is oh, doing. It is? Oh yeah. sorry. <clears throat> My apologies. I'm going to the Thieves Guild later that night. <laughs> Alright. Um so first time or, or at least the first couple of hours, you get a total of uh, you get yourself a total of let's say um, 17 gold pieces and the rest of the day you get um, 
let's see. Uh, two and a cup of water. So two gold pieces and a cup of water. And um, one platinum piece and a slice of bread. Whoa, someone was Ooh. carrying a platinum? They were just begging to be mugged. That, was poor, that poor guy. <laughs> so you, you gained 29 gold, a cup of water, and a slice of bread. Yep. <laughs> While she's doing that, I wish to buy... Wait, 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 before I buy anything, I have a question. Would yes. reading and practicing cook's utensils with the help of a cookbook help train me with cook's utensils? Like, eventually get profe uh, proficiency with it? Uh, yes. Okay. I wish to buy a set of cook's utensils and a cookbook. All right. This um, isn't concerning at all. <laughs> <laughs> what type of uh, cookbook do you want? Um, let's go with uh, like like reg like standard like like uh, I guess um, soups and stews and stuff. Okay. Um. So, shoot, I forgot how much like cooks utensils cost. Cooks utensils are one gold. All right, then uh, so then you'll be able to find some for one gold and a book. Um, so you can either just buy the book or get a library card. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll how get much, it for free. How, how much is the book itself? The, the book itself is about two gold pieces. I'll just buy the book. Oh, okay. What we... Actually, no, I'll get the library card in case I need to check out other books. All right. Um, you, uh, you, through a different character, meet the same person again. The strange elf fellow with the, listen, with the, with the slipped back haircut that kind of reveals like a widow's peak as who has a amethyst kind of like rose type thing on his shoulders uh, who's the librarian mm -hmm. gosh dang an it an amethyst um, rose on his shoulders you said on his shoulder you said uh, like a, like yeah, a yeah, pelican you know, that's, that looks like an amethyst rose a pelican a, a lapel pin that looks like a rose made of amethyst uh shoot it's a corsage there we go that's what it is I think where it's that rose that's kind of like... Mm. Wait, wait, wait. What's the color of this lapel pin? You said amethyst? Amethyst. amethyst. Oh. There's ooh, a lead. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a second. Problem is, Sada does Sadar realize that's a lead? I do not know. Well, I, I he might not know you're looking for a... Uh, uh, amethyst. An, an amethyst thing. Mm -hmm. But he, but it's definitely a weird thing to keep note of. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I, I wrote it down in my notes. Yeah, so well, he could, he could bring it up with the rest of the people. Like mm -hmm. weirdest yeah. guy. Honestly, some research, uh, some research um, in future would probably be worth doing. Like on, like the preferences of the types of dragons we still have to find. Mm -hmm. What would be a good idea? Also, is you know what. You know what? We got a few days to do this red dragon thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, we got like what three hundred, <laughs> three hundred years to three hundred years to three. A we got century. Uh, we got three hundred years, three hundred twenty-five days. Uh, at this point, fourteen hours and uh, fifty-eight minutes. Yeah, we got. We got, got you know got a couple while. centuries. We got a couple centuries. We we got a while, and I I doubt anyone else is going to be dumb enough to try to try to piss off an Efreet. Yeah, and if so they're the, and if they are dumb enough to do that, they'll just die. Yeah, and failing that, it's unlike and failing that, if the stalemate with this with this uh, with this uh, lady of the tower is is uh, going has been going on for as long as I think it has, then. Uh, yeah, that ain't going anywhere. Yeah, and also, ben, so you know, and also, so you know what I'm thinking. Also, something else. Thinking. We can take Clara with us to the library. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but here's, 
the thing. What we what we should do. Oh, is the I library feel like... card is um. Oh, it's uh, five silver. Five silver. Okay. What what we should do is we should actually spend maybe the next couple sessions, including this one, just going around the town and doing more research so that way we could collect more leads. Yeah, because we really do. We are like clawing for, scraps we, for we leads ran, right now. Yeah, yeah. We ran through most of our leads pretty quickly and uh, <laughs> and our, uh, and right now we're looking at a... And so right now what we need to do is give ourselves options because yeah. right now the only leads we've got, uh, one of them is incredibly dangerous and the other one is doable but is going to take some preparation yeah mm -hmm. hopefully we can also get something at the at the thieves guild i would like out of character i would not be surprised if the leader of the thieves guild is the green dragon yeah i mean <laughs> it's just it it's just like no 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 the leader of the thieves guild isn't a green dragon the guy serving the drinks on the other hand yeah he is <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's Wouldn't just, that, no, 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 he's no, like no, surprisingly no, not no. he's like amazingly not shy about it like he he's not even polymorphed he's just a dragon serving drinks yo either that <laughs> either that or the green dragon is the star scream of the thieves guild yeah <laughs> point in, the point he's the recruiter <laughs> Oh, uh, he's he's the guy the walking boys, around. It'd be great to join our organization. Still, I would, I, I would, I would not be surprised if the Green Dragon is in some way related to the Thieves Guild because that is mm -hmm. totally something a Green Dragon would be involved with. Yep. Mm -hmm. But that, that's all out yeah, of character stuff. Is, we haven't done the research to know that in character yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The point is, we do, we should really go around to locations we haven't really been yet. Yeah, a trip to the library and, and would the, be worth like, it to, like, look up information about the dragons that we still need to find. You know, green oh, dragon, absolutely. bronze dragon, silver dragon, amethyst dragon. Amethyst. Absolutely. And get, get, get all our Burr, research going. Amethyst. Get all our research dragon, going, and then we... Red dragon, yep. even. Yes, yes, yes. Black, take, red, take the leaves bronze, of the... silver, amethyst, green. No, we yeah. have left. And uh, and then we can uh, and we need to be looking around to get more. Uh, we just need to look around and get more information in general, so that way we can have leads, and and then plan for them. Yep. Because that's uh, that's one of the biggest things about this about this party that we need to keep very much at the forefront, so that we don't have a repeat of mistakes were made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that way, that that this party requires planning and preparation. So we yep. just need to make sure we get as much information as possible. Yeah, I'm like, I'm kind of trying to do the whole planning and preparation thing a lot with the whole yeah. plaid issue. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Like, I have other plans that I haven't do anything yet. about that. Sure. I have other plans I haven't mentioned yet for things I'm going to do yeah. about that. Yeah. And, like, they tie into why I'm making it a locket. Yeah. Oh. Skirbo. Skirbo is, unfortunately, has no choice but to leave this to Mr. Ticker because he yeah. has no capabilities to be able to do this. And besides, his hands aren't, aren't what they used to be. After all, my sleight of hand is only a plus three. <laughs> which is one of the primary reasons Skirvo is not pickpocketing anyone I mean just cool. listen to the sound his fingers make clack, 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 clack. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a typewriter uh, but yes um, so oh, uh, mm. so so dark mm -hmm. you get your library card mm -hmm. um, how was it so it'll take you about an hour to get there an hour to get back to the house as you just read through the cookbook and you um hmm. do you want to make anything or no tonight i will read and then tomorrow i will start practicing all right um so does anything happen through. to does anything happen to clara throughout the day 
Uh, okay. All right. The Sudar's there. Um, I mean, she's Sudar's not... there. And the yeah. two other, let's see, uh, this is, and, and your two goblinoid friends are mm-hmm. there. They are, listen, Clara is just kind of seeing what they're doing at the moment. Right, and good. also kind of helping. Okay. Um, crushed down like some of, or, or at least they've brought in like one of those troughs, and um, Clara is having the time one of, of her the life troughs that you use to like crush grapes into wine, yes, except for this time it, it's the fruit. Okay, good on them. Oh, Clara's having a good well, having Clara's a good time having a good helping them make potions, no problems with mm-hmm. this, mm-hmm. yeah. There's a really good chance our fruit, our fruits are really well preserved from being in the ship. Uh, they're in the yeah. back holding right now. Oh yeah, that's right. They are. Mm-hmm. Which means they are very well preserved because they're in a vacuum. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, I have a whole bunch of a uh, cactus fruit as well. Yeah, that's right. So if they start making, if they start making cactus fruit wine to sell, maybe we should consider. Maybe we should consider teaming up with them and opening a brewery. A temporary one, but a brewery nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, hey, what? any all the gold helps. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's mostly just what happens when Sadar is there. They're mm-hmm. making noise in the room and uh, uh Clara is just like giggling as she's doing this entire thing. As you just like hear random conversations in Goblin that are then translated through Brobnar, which are then spoken to Common, to Clara, and then back and forth. Mm-hmm. Or Brobnar, oh. he's, the, he's the only translator we got. Well, <laughs> we also have Feynman, Feynman. Yeah. but uh, She's don't worry. One of these the days, one of these days, yeah. Servo's either going to get a language up, a language index update, or he's just going to get one of those. One of those things that lets him speak mul- many languages. <laughs> um. All right. So, oh, for proficiency, um, out of like, let's say, or we're going to say, a hundred hours. I feel like that's fair, because it's just a normal way of doing it. Um, you get ten hours done. Who? Uh, me or Paimon? Uh, uh, you because you, oh, yeah, you're, you're the one. Oh, that, I, I, I had zoned out for a second. Yeah, I had zoned out for a second there, so I wasn't sure who you were talking to. Okay. Oh. Um, uh, okay. Said what Paimon was doing. Uh. Yeah. Ten. The other two had to spend the entire ten, day just going down. Yeah, ten hours in cookbook. Okay. You, you know now, like, proper cutting techniques. However, you still need, like, actual, like, physical application thereof. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you're just kind of swinging in the air at the moment or just messing with mm-hmm. sand. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, so, it, 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 it's nighttime when the other two come back. And also oh. probably Paimon. I don't know if Paimon wants to come back yet. Yep. Yeah, I assume and, uh, Skirvo uh, and Ticker were talking about our plans to go do yeah. research while we were gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, doing research and then and then uh, Skirvo's going to help. Telepathically if we were there. ever going through somewhere busy. Yeah, Skirvo's going to help get the barrel back before he heads before he heads off to his night shift. Yep. Yep, so because... That, that's heavy. It's We're probably taking turns carrying it. Well, we would just have to carry it out of the ship and then put it in the back of holding. Oh, yeah, that's true. In that case, in that case, at a certain point, Scurvo's just going to have to be like, well, it's about that time, Mr. Ticker. We'll continue this in the morning. <laughs> and he'll head off to his night shift with... Uh, <laughs> with, cons- <laughs> with consistent numbers... With contestant number three, as well as, I already forgot his name. <laughs> Dark, Dark Notion. There, we get, Dark, there it is. Dark Notion. Dark Notion. Oh, that is his Dark Notion. Do they have a oh, brother who's no, Light I Notion? Just, I just. Oh, no. And Scurvo's just, Scurvo immediately, 
just goes, just goes, oh, evening, Mr. Notion. No, and then, he's, he's and immediately not. Turns, he he and would immediately he turns can't be. To, what? What? <laughs> what? This dude's the black dragon. Oh my god. Wait. Oh. What? <laughs> No, no, no. Like if there were any, if there were any type of dragon to be the most stereotypically edgy character ever, it would be a black be dragon. Black dragon. <laughs> so Scur Scurvo initially turns and goes. Uh, initially turns around and speaks to the new guy. <laughs> All right. Well, good evening. My name is Mr. Scurv. Hey, I'm Spencer. <laughs> Here we go. I, I really, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but I, I really like this guy so far. <laughs> and and then Scurvo just re retracts his hand from shake from a shake, and then proceeds to go to watch the wall as he realizes, oh God, there's two of them now. <laughs> 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 They're multiplying. <laughs> oh. um, but yes, uh, Paimon, your adventures await. Okay, well, instead of going back home, I'm gonna, like, once it gets dark enough, I'm gonna head over to the meeting spot. Yes. Uh -huh. Just real quick, well, this long rest, I'm gonna start the process of of um of drying the the mm -hmm. the venom. Yeah, and since he's working okay. with venom, and I'm gonna I have, I'm gonna uh, keep it in my bag of holding the whole time. Okay, I was gonna say, but since like, I'm familiar I'm just with going to go things, into my bag of holding because I, uh... I don't have to breathe. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, just gonna do it. I'm just gonna keep it in the bag of holding so that we okay. don't have any issues with Clara finding a giant vat of venom. Yeah, <laughs> not only not only that, but any um, potential issues of it getting filled up with water again. Does Ticker share any of this with with, with the group, or is uh, planning on doing with the poison? Well, I mean, Paimon's not there, so technically that doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, um, I, was, I was just going because because if he does, that I could I give him advantage on the poison checks by giving him tips before he goes into the bag of holding, since I have proficiency with the poisoner's kit and. It's I'm very more familiar with venom than kit. it is a poisoner's kit. Oh, okay, okay. Fair enough. So it'd be more if you had proficiency with alchemist supplies. Which I do not. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I do have a general knowledge of venom because I, well, I have my own venom, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but for so now, I'm I, just. I, I, I couldn't help. Well, I, 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 I think it's like a different level of application. It's yeah. like there are different. Well, it's the difference between like an on a astronomer and an astronaut sure yeah. yes they they both deal with space but one deals with it a lot differently than the other one yeah True. i'm I, doing i'm you, doing you chemistry on the i'm poison. treating the, i'm treating the venom more like it's a chemical that was made in a lab than it was venom oh, okay, that was okay fair enough fair enough i i was uh i i i, I can't help but make this joke it's just like it's like i can help you with the alchemy since when were you an alchemist last night by the way, we should probably. By the way, we should hide this as he as he pulls in a dismant as he pulls in a damaged warforge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll oh, just I'll just start yes. the process. Just just you know, add the the stuff that the the, the drying agent. Nice. <laughs> but um, all right. Uh, so five one. Night has come. You go to the location. It's it was actually just like the advertisement uh, for the uh, six, uh, for the Midnight Bells place. It's just a secret room inside of the place. Um, when you go in, it's it's a brothel. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Oh. Right. You see many exotic dancers. Okay, of, not, not of, my thing. Of, of both varieties. Not my thing. But uh, I'm just gonna keep on going. Uh, <laughs> okay. 
Oh God, I'm Sam! Sam. <laughs> Sam, did you bring your kid again? <laughs> <laughs> I told you to stop bringing your kid around here. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the front desk. <laughs> yeah. Is there a front desk? There, there's a front desk. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, so, so uh, the, the person at the front desk is like, do you have an ID? Oh, oh I need an ID for that. No, for that, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, like, fold up the, the flyer and just, like, slide it over to him. Alright. I'm a little lost. What was the code word again? Somebody wrote it down. The code word. I have it. I have it. All right, Hi. good. That's all for me. Travels. And so it shall be. Yep. Follow me. And so, uh, beneath the counter, this trap door. Follow me. Thank God. I'm pretty sure if I had you do anything here, I would have been on a list. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> now that. Uh, so you seem to well, it's, well, no, not you seem. Uh, you head down to the basement where there is a bunch of hazy smoke with people smoking from basically giant hookah pipe, hookah pipes. There we go. Okay. Um, in the center there is a a large lounge chair, similar to Belladros's, but a lot floppier. And a lot more osit oh, extravagant in appearance. Jeez, that takes um, some that that takes some skill to be more extravagant than Belladros. Yeah, I do. Don't tell him about the don't tell him about the couch. He'll get jealous, and then his couch will get jealous that he's jealous, and that it'll be a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Manufacturer will be jealous. <laughs> oh. you 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 don't at at that point at that point you just you just get you just change your name and get out of the city you don't you don't deal with a jealous manufacturer man <laughs> um but uh so uh with a ring of a bell in the corner um a what's it a lady elvish in origin uh almost graceful well, well, gracefully kind of lifts herself towards or at least gracefully walks herself towards the desk with listen she has this well just long black hair as well as a pipe that she has on her and then just kind of rests herself gently on this couch ah so you're the one i've heard so much about she takes a puff of smoke. You took my drugs. <laughs> oh, sorry. God, let's hope this wasn't. We're gonna invite you here to kill you. <laughs> it, it do be like that sometimes, man. Oh, <laughs> if it I mean, is, it is. I mean, I I also couldn't it help but imagine that there's just a point where the friggin' where you see a cop come into the thing, uh, to the brothel above. And it's just like, it's like, excuse me, I don't want to bother you, but did a child just come in here? <laughs> and then it's just like, and it's like, uh, no, 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 they were, they were, they were joining the Thieves Guild. Oh, that's all right then. And uh -huh. the cop leaves. <laughs> <laughs> as long as, as long as they had nothing to do with the brothel, it's fine. I think. I should probably talk to my supervisors. <laughs> I, I don't I don't have the skills to do this. I'm just a deputy. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, joking about a corrupt police force aside. Yeah. Um. So, uh, so so her reddish eyes just kind of gleam towards you. So I see that you're interested. Uh, yeah, I guess. What's your name, little one? It's Paimon. Ah, uh, 
a cute name for that adorable little face of yours. Well. Get the well, alarm bells uh, ringing. Hmm. <laughs> Is it just me, or is this woman about to end up on a list? <laughs> adorable. A list of people that uh, Skirvo has to kill? No, 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 not that kind that. of list. A um, list of people we should avoid at all costs? <laughs> no. Well, well yeah, but... She's a criminal. <laughs> well, I mean, kind of. One of those lists where they have to walk around town and tell, every, and tell everyone in the neighborhood they live next to. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that they're on that list. Oh. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of list. I mean, oh. I mean, you're good. You're just the fact that a child just that our child character just walked through a brothel. You're inviting jokes <laughs> like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. You've you've encouraged them at this point. <laughs> uh, you do know Spencer, uh, right? This was pro. It was probably intended that they were encouraged. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I'm doing them. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, but yes, so, so she's staring at her with, well, at you with your, well, well not, not, I'm getting my words mixed up. So she's, um, so I guess not staring because that'd be rude. Uh, so she just kind of has her eyes half open, looking towards you, looking with her, uh, glistening red eyes in the darkness of this room. Um, and she, she is, it, is, is just wondering, so, you want to join, yes? Sure, I would like to know more about this group before I actually join. Well, we kind of run a, let's see, so, we are shoot need to think of words again um <clears throat> well as you can see we have a cover business to say uh and the point of the matter that i'm trying to get to you is that perhaps maybe we have a few jobs for you if you succeed We'll give you a high payment. We'll also, by joining us, you will receive access to a selection of special. Well, shoot, what's the word? A special marketplace of items, as you can probably see around you at the moment. Oh, that grenade pulls the pin. <laughs> wait, wait, shit, no. <laughs> Maybe as as she walks out of the explosion with half her face misting, perhaps One second. I should rethink hiring actual children. Off to the healers. <laughs> You assume much. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I assume I assume a great many things, but obvi But I mean, come on, it's Paimon. It's jokes are going to be made. The um, fine print lady. The fine prints. Well. You see, this is all based off of a verbal agreement and kind of more or less a blood oath to say. Failure of which will turn you into, let's just say, enforcers. Um, with that, she snaps kind of like her long fingernails. And below you, a, what was it? Um, 
below you kind of like the explicit. So, not below you, but what to, to like, if between you and this lady who hasn't quite given her name yet, a floor kind of opens up to a graded panel where a bunch of gnawing hands come out. So, um, make a nature check or religion. Okay, let's see what I have better at. Uh, it's both plus three. It don't matter to me. Um, uh, I, I, there's about lucky. 15 alarm I'll bells going off in my head right now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, 17. These are vampire spawn, and they're clawing their way towards you, which means... Which, which means... Paimon put two and two together. Uh, are you a vampire? <laughs> uh, are you a vampire? Because, like... If it wasn't for Clara, like I would just... I would change my... I would, I would grease myself up with... With garlic oil. <laughs> um, oh, since mm. no, I, uh, I just, suddenly I now have the picture of the three of us who don't have actually soft skin. Remember that, Wilson? Garlic. A, 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 Wilson, when vampire, or at least the word, pops up in your head, you remember a Wilson, that that drawing that Clara did the other day. For some reason. Wait a second, As describe the mind... thing with the hands again? Um, what? Describe the things with the hands again, please. Uh, which hands? The, the, yeah, her hands? Yeah. The clawy yeah. hand things? Uh, the clawy hand things? Uh, I, yeah, that, that, did I describe more? That They're reaching out towards Paimon. Yeah, from... I, okay, I, never mind. A caged grate. Okay. Um, but yes, you put two and two together, or at least it's like, ah, oh, bear some resemblance to someone. Two, uh, is it, is, it is a Clara's sister? Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah, sister, am I right? Or, or yeah, yes, five mod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Can can I get your name? Well, I guess. Hmm. It is safe. None of my family should be here, and no, you can't necessarily hurt them. Uh, the name is Bella Harconi. Wait, I name. Mm -hmm. It's so familiar. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. Oh. I fucking hate your sister's mm -hmm. gun! I'm about to commit matricide. <laughs> <laughs> what? It'd be some, well, it wouldn't uh, be. It wouldn't. If this was the sister, sister, I know you're a It would be sororicide. It wouldn't be matricide. It'd be sororicide. <laughs> Actually, you would be committing homicide because she's not related to you in any way. Would True. It be, what, what's, the, what's the term for killing your kid? Uh, uh, no. Infanticide? Fantasize? Yeah, I, I, would it be? I don't know what that's called. Infant murder, man. It's infant murder. Okay, well that's that's more the name. Uh, Either way, it's a late oh abortion. Uh, <laughs> uh, filicide is the term. And so it would be adoptive filicide. There or it could be a puericide, because uh, where is the Latin word for child? Well, looking up, looking it up, it's it's filicide. It's the specific term for killing your child. Mm. Yeah, I still a very like missing late abortion. Very disturbing one, but I was I was more talking about the fact that I have that I'm technically that I am technically needing to kill the mother. <laughs> I don't think it's the mother though. I think it's the older sister. It's the sister. Oh yeah, that's true. It's the yeah. sister because she's that the mother's dead. Remember? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Technically, it would be 
Well, yeah. it'd be homicide because you're not related to them. But if we want to get technical if, because it's the I, sister, then it'd be true. Sora's side. Anyways. Died. Wait. Anyway, it'd be just. Anyways. Anyways. Okay, Anyways. Yeah, I, I know your sister. Uh, Clara, right? Right? She looks at you, dead in the eyes. It uh, seems for one badly. that she yep. is finally awake. Kind of drop. She almost immediately drops kind of the smooth act. That she has. How do you know her? Uh, Suddenly, with the twist of her fingers, the pipe she was holding cracks in two. With a loud snap of worry, metal and wood. She's safe. Uh, yeah, the, the rest of my guys, they're like super protective of her. They're like her dads and everything. It. Not it, me. <laughs> I, I'm well, that, yeah, I'm I don't. That, I'm that family friend that got. You are not one of my family. guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm referring to the party. He was like, it's not me. Yeah, it's not me. I'm that Anyone odd family friend that somehow you. gets roped into babysitting every single time. That hit me way harder than I think it should have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Ooh. All right. Ooh. Oh, fuck y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh -oh. so, anyways, okay. about the pissed off sister. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, she's safe. I promise she's safe. Well, you can't really take my word for it, but I mean, like, we found her, like, in some kind of like. Jesus. Hole, hole in the wall. It was pretty. It was yeah. literally like a hole in a wall. We we literally found her in a hole in the wall, and she, she was like starving and shit. And uh, we we took her in. Well, they took her in, and um, yeah, she's safe. Like, like, yeah, yeah. I I don't have to tell her anything if you don't want me to. I mean, I'll respect that boundary. Um. Uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I know her. She's she's a child. Yeah. Simon was aware that she should have been aware that she wanted to, that Clara wanted to find her. Yeah, I know, I know, but I don't want to like push any boundaries. That's yeah. fair. She's more scared of the leader of the thieves guild than she is of Clara. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she would literally beat the shit out of Clara if she could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, about this, about the about the uh, vampire lady, her reaction to all this uh, mumbling and panicking. <laughs> um. All right. Um. By the okay. way, Ticker, what's the range on, on your uh, on your uh, telepathy? 120 feet. You are not eavesdropping. On I am not within that. Got it. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, it, it, my shit. Fuck me. Lucky. All right. There we hey. go. There we go. <laughs> Hey. <clears throat> um. So, uh, so, so, so with a so with a demanding voice, um, th this once calm individual stands up and asks you to bring them to her. Really, they're just dumbasses. Like you don't, you don't really need to meet them. Well, no, no, bring her to uh, Clara. Okay, okay, yeah, I can totally bring you to them. Um, yeah, yeah, we could go right now, man. Hey, you want to go right now? We could go right now. Let's go now. I should probably put on something else. Yeah. 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 
probably should. All right. Um. So uh, I would like to say that after I wait. put the drying agent into the into the poison, I would be in. I would I would be in whatever room Clara is sleeping in, watching over her. Uh, yeah. this is nighttime. Clara is not sleeping, and you. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'd be watching she's over probably, Clara still. Probably... Normally yeah, she's yeah. sleeping, but you have yet to feed her yet. Oh, I. Yes, I. Yeah. I thought yeah, that was man. kind of. Okay. Wide. All right. Implied. We're going to leave this. The nightly We're routine. leaving this to the implied part. Yes. All right. Then yes, yes. She is currently asleep at the moment. Yes. Full, still holding the jug, unless you want to take that from her. No, I won't take it. No. Okay. Um, within a few minutes, um, oh, six. Uh, within a few minutes, you start hearing a carriage, and it seems to be coming closer. Not, not, not Paimon. Everyone else. Well, everyone that's at the house, at least. Yes. Yeah, Skurvo um, is not there, and I find that incredibly concerning, considering yeah. he was the one who took her in. Yep. What happened to the house again? There's a carriage coming closer. Um, <laughs> a carriage. Ah. Uh, uh, and then, um, listen. Uh, so. Listen, then you hear a kind of a knock at the door. Well, actually, Paimon, do you knock on doors? No. Oh. You hear a knock anyways. Uh, what time of night is this? Um, it is around 12 p.m. Or a.m. A.m. We're going Midnight. to say 11 p.m. to make this more simple. Okay, okay. okay. Hello? So I would still be up. Oh, he, he's going to hello. It's like, does our, does our thing have a window? Oh, uh, yes, you have a couple shakes. windows. Okay, Just I wish to peer through the eye, the senses of my familiar, and have it basically fly to the window and peek its head out and around the corner. I'm going to flip it off. It's, uh, it, it, it's Paimon. And, and, and uh, she brought a friend. <laughs> brought a friend and a team of, uh, horses. At an extravagant looking carriage. Um, you can't uh, yeah. tell if Paimon has like is a, a new friend or mm -hmm. if it's something else. All right. I retrieve my, have my snake come back in and then I, I, I speak in a, in a whispered tone to, to Ticker. It's the mouse, but she brought company. Very uh, ornate carriage. Uh, did you say that, so there was Paimon, uh, Clara's sister, and then she had like a squad of goons, basically. Yeah. Uh, our said are savory looking individuals. Are, are, are said goons looking uh, visibly armed? No. Well, I mean, oh, yeah. they are armed. They're, they're not wielding anything at the moment. But, 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 but they have, you know, a sword or a club or a stick or a spear or something like that on their person. Yes. All right. Uh, and several unsavory individuals. They are armed. I advise caution. Um. I brought friends, but they're. Meanwhile, Skurvo's in sentry mode, halfway mm -hmm. across town. Yes. <laughs> uh. Open up, dipshits. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Yeah. You don't got your talker this time around. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oof. What what's Ticker's charisma? Not good. It's um. Gervo had the best. Yeah. Charisma than ten. Party, remember? Is, oh, oh, it is. Would you say John? It is. Oh, it is. So we have the same charisma. We have the same charisma. Lovely. Yeah, Skurvo has a plus two. So yeah, I, I know Skurvo is very charismatic. I was just saying between me and, and Ticker, which was more charismatic, and the answer is we're both equally poor. Um, yep. This is uh. 
this could not have ended worse. <laughs> yeah, um, I will open the door a little bit. Um. Finally. Wait a second. Wait a second. I just realized something out of character. She, if she's a vampire, then that if a true vampire, then that means even if we open the door all the way, she can't enter the house without us letting her in. That's she could enter the house if I let her in. This is true. Yep. It is true. Um. All right. You you, you open the door. Just a little bit. bit. Uh, uh. Yeah. You, you see Paimon with, with a tall, dark, dark-haired uh elf lady who bears a resemblance to Clara. <laughs> I'm gonna ask uh, Paimon telepathically who she is. Oh, this is this. This is Clara's sister. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was... She's like the head... I think she... Are you the head of the Thieves' Guild? I think she's the head of the Thieves' Guild, yeah. That is... a statement you could use to describe me. Yes. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty badass. <laughs> Don't take the side of the person who's yeah. going to kill us all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't do that. We None of us took Vladimir's side when he went, when he went ape shit. <laughs> and well, I will again... Hey, my man! Much and that. I will telepathically ask her why she's here. I wish he to wants... see my sister. Oh, I was asking Paimon why she's here. Oh. He wants to see oh, okay. his sister! Why else would I bring her here? She's asleep. Could you come back in what? the morning? Vampire, dude. That's why we're doing this at night. Just get the kid up. Please? All right. Um, I will telepathically relay... To um, maybe Sadar to be to the... ready just in case, but don't mm -hmm. make, but yeah, be ready for a fight just in case. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, like, cause, and yeah. you're a harbinger, so I imagine there's not much you do to look visibly ready for a fight. So, mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I would, I, just I would recommend, recommend and speaking. I always, and I also always have my thunder claw. So, mm -hmm. I, I basically just. From the chair, from the chair, I was basically sitting in, half coiled up. While I just sort of slide off the chair and stand to my to to, to, to the normal height I, I draw myself to. I, I just make sure my I just look over and make sure my staff is within reach. My flying snake is wrapped around the top of it. Yep. Right. So w w with the snake on there. It kind of looks a bit like uh, like uh, the, the the medical symbol of uh, Caduceus. Yep, I All will right. retrieve Clara. I would recommend speaking to the lady, but you know. Well, like, oh, while he's doing that, while he's doing that, what I'm do I ask like... her? You know, I I don't know. I'm going to mm -hmm. retrieve Clara because that's she wants to talk to yeah. Clara. I'm not going to let her in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask Saul. Oh. What do you need all your, um, associates for? Oh, you're, you're just talking to, uh, sit, um, you're, you're just talking to her? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. And there I gesture a hand in her general direction, waving it, you know, shaking it back and forth to j indicate, you know, her, her little goon squad. Because I have no reason to trust you. Oh, person of the desert. Hmm. Yeah, I will... I will awaken Clara. Clara just kind of awakens, like, nonchalantly. It's like, ah, uh, what is it? There's someone here who wants to talk to you. Uh, so, uh, Clara, like, sniffs the air, and then it, it, it immediately, like, her entire day 
oh, okay, if you want to get technical, her entire night is brightened by this ex experience. And she ecstatically goes down, just opens the door, does not care if Sadar is there. Um, oh, I'm not in the just way of the of... door. I'm just, I'm not in the way of the door. I'm just like standing like back near the, like uh, back away is a bit, um, uh, uh, standing up. All I did was basically stand up and make sure either I, way, my staff is within um, reach. Either way, she pushes you out of the way, even if you're not in the way. She still pushes you. <laughs> she goes out of her I way will, to push me out. I will of the quickly way. follow. I will quickly go to follow her. Obviously. Um, and, and she jumps into her sister's arms. Uh, in which her sister catches her. Oh no! Uh, <clears throat> big sis. Oh yes, my little Clara. What is it? Um, and they just have like this exchange that's well, it's just two sisters reuniting. Um, after a long period of time, that they. Start talking about like the events and how like uh, and how Bella thought that, that that she also died in the house fire when she heard the news, um, <clears throat> and how what was it, how things have been kind of difficult and uh, so Clara just like goes on like 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 this big tirade of like the adventures that that she's had with like uh uh no, it's you schmucks captain scurvy and ticker <laughs> um uh no paimon i it, it, it's like um no is it no i think bella is just uh, like a very stereotypical name for a, a a lady of that like particular nationality that you uh... expect to be a vampire yeah, like, like a lady I mean, of like Transylvanian nationality, you'd expect to be. That's a very stereotypical name for it. I mean, it's a mixture of that and like three other things. Um, a, a reference to a song because if you remember, like, uh, sits, uh, she's a bell, so she's Bella Bell, and there's a song about this type of person named Bella Bell. As well as like it being kind of oh, it, that there's also another sister involved, and then there's another thing going on where it's like A, B, C, and then there's a, another thing where it involves that. Um, I, I I spent too much time thinking of like what should I name the, these three sisters? <laughs> um, what? Yes, uh. Where were we at the moment? Telling her, Clara like, telling they were Bella about adventures. Clara is just well, is, is, is like just about like the adventures that she's had, and, and then like uh, the, the these those, that that these three schmucks plus some other guy named Theron. She, she doesn't call you schmucks. I'm just using the word. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like uh, got you out, like gave you a house. Um. Uh, and then she also says that Theron's going to be gone for a very long time. She doesn't know where she is. Um. Yeah. Um. This is, and then, like, after a while, like, just Bella, like, looks towards you. It's like, I, just I see watching, you like, with the most kind well. of tender look that a Thrive Green can give. Okay, that's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, once it's obvious that this is the not physiology of a Thrykreen just... face wouldn't really allow particularly tender, but the most tender mm -hmm. look a Thrykreen can give. Mm -hmm. Can give. A yeah. um, after seeing that this is a heartwarming reunion and all that, and nothing nefarious appears to be happening, I will sit back down on my feet. Uh, well, uh, anyways, what was uh, what was she saying? She looked. She was looking at Ticker, I think. Oh. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's it. Um, she was kind of like looking at Ticker, and the conversation has turned to, well, there's a few problems. Mm. On one hand, I don't think I have a way. You guys seem like the trustworthy sort. Which is weird. Which is weird. I don't like. 
I don't like using that word around people. Few people are deserving of trust. Uh, it's, it's good, like a DC five um, check to, to say, yeah, this, this person definitely has trust issues. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, when you work with uh, people, my passive not, insight is I, fourteen, so yes, yeah. mine is fifteen. Um, I'll just tell her I know what it's like to be astray. I. I know what to I I know what it feels like. And I know that it's not it's nothing for it's no it's no position for a child to be in. Um I believe I can take this little one off your hands. Um. Uh, I think Paimon would not be against this. Yeah, so Paimon would not I be guess. against this. Um, I don't give a shit. I would like to make an insight check to see if I can trust her to. Yeah. The problem is, is I feel like the moment Skurva or Ticker saw the conditions she's currently living in, it probably wouldn't look great for Clara. Yeah. Yeah, but we haven't seen that, so... Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, but yes, uh, go ahead, make that insight check. You know, you know what, you could ask, you could ask to see what conditions she could be living in, because you want to make sure she's safe. Yeah. <laughs> Our... And it would be better, and, and perhaps even mention that it would be better if the captain were here as well. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just spitballing, considering I can't do anything. I'm just gonna kind of gesture at her goons. Do you have the right mm, facilities to care for a child? She thinks for a moment. You have a point there. I could probably set something up. Someone, but it sounds like money being spent. So with the way things are going right now, I I can also not really entrust her safety either. Mm. You have my word on my on my soul and my eternal and my eternal essence that I will not let any harm come to this child. Hmm. And that's like a DC zero insight check to tell that Ticker is deathly serious. And mm-hmm. like, yeah. I already intend if it comes down to Ticker drops yeah, yeah. to zero hit points and yeah, Clara isn't if... safe, I will declare grit. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just sort of nodding in the background, being like, like, uh, like yeah. and I don't say it expressly, but I, I just 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 for him, like, in a way that's like, yeah, he's serious. Meanwhile, like meanwhile, Skurvo is, meanwhile, Skurvo's halfway across town, uh, not uh, just uh, shoo, back away from the wall. There <laughs> you go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Move along now. <laughs> I say, talking back to the zombies me. like they're disobedient. Talking to zombie, talking to the undead, more like they're disobedient cattle rather than rather than dangerous monsters. <laughs> Oh, um, let's sit. Uh, yes. So she looks at you. Hmm. Place could definitely use some work. But I also don't really have a place to keep her, and I have a business to run. Hmm. I also can't have her be in this same area as my other ways of income. I shall accept your offer. For the time being. 
and oh. she Will... then what was it? Uh, she then kind of like puts Clara back on the ground and just starts do it, ha having a one on one chat. Yeah, I won't like Clara. I won't listen in or anything. It's All right, supposed I mean, it's to be private, kind of I imagine. Well, right. Uh, Clara, you, you wish to stay with these nice people. Is that correct? Um, let's see. That, uh, that is Clara, something I do like, want to know. <laughs> looks at this house. This is, 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 it, it's like, um, uh, this is, and, and then, like, uh, looks to all of you, um, and, and, and then, like, back to her sister, and, and it's, it's like, uh, well, I would like to see them again, definitely. The, the red's pretty nice. Yeah, I, I get fed every day. It's like, hmm. And they, well, and, and then Bella just goes back to her, um, and it's like, well, I'll be sure to visit from time to time. Uh, your big sis has a business to run, more or less, and I do not necessarily have time to play all the time. And, and, and my place um, is not in the best condition, so to say. Uh <laughs> She doesn't know what that word means. <laughs> Hopefully. She glares at you. It's like, you better not tell her what that means. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? And Ticker, dirty. Ticker kind of looks, kind of looks like almost, <laughs> he, he kind of like looks a little startled about that. <laughs> <laughs> Bug guy. He's like a dinner plate. You're both, you're both looking at Paimon like, what the hell? <laughs> and Zanar's like, what? Woo? Like, like, Jaw hanging open, his fangs are showing eyes. That's eyes. Dinner plates. Like, what did you just say? <laughs> what I thought you said. Takes <laughs> his head briefly and just like, and it puts a bit of a snap. Just, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> what? I learned about them when I was like one years old, man. Hey, your oh. parents are on a list. <laughs> she's only like four, man. Yeah, she's been she's on the for a You're life. not making things better, man. <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, mouse the mouse folk she's using, they reach maturity at five. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I know. Because mice. Yeah, but but, but still. She's still, she's still underage. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in a way. I, I mean, she's four years from underage, so she'd be like 14. In a way, mm -hmm. yeah. It's not. A, I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying you know. Yeah, it's not no, good. No. You still. You would still end up on a list. Yeah. <laughs> Look, her, her parents are are most likely terrorists of some of some country. They they, they are on beds, many the uncles, lists. man. That's like they are on many lists, <laughs> and. uh... <laughs> As uh, as for her uncles, they are on one list, uh, specifically a list of uh, things things someone has to clean up. Yep. Yes, they they <laughs> they should probably be added to the fallen box. To be honest, the fallen box. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Oh my god! Oh, if they her, are indeed dead, her, her, her uncles and, and such. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, there's Uncle an enemy's made box too. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah. It's yeah. on the opposite side. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, but, yes. Hmm. This place needs a little bit of refurbishment. I agree. We uh, have been a little busy of late. Hmm. All right. Uh, she 
Well, the place isn't the only thing in need of refurbishment. <laughs> well, yeah, that's she probably for the best. That so. goes. Yeah, but we don't ah. talk about you. We don't, Just, uh, we don't, we don't talk about you. Uh, almost like some sort of mental command. Uh, a couple of the goons uh, bring out a chest of sorts. Well, yeah, it, it is a chest, like a highly refurbished kind of chest or chest and sits it at well just kind of in your living room as they just kind of like step okay. in all right all right i believe i shall be off again however i will take this i i will take my little sister out every third day. Deal. As uh, you could, you could make a mention that as long as there's a, as they make a, make a pass near a certain wall, so that Skurvo can make sure that they're that they're okay. <laughs> yeah, I will probably mention. Oh, and the captain takes watches during the night on the wall and I'll mention which the section of wall that he takes watches on. I'm sure she would yeah. appreciate it if when you take her out you passed by there to allow him to see you. In to allow him to ensure her safety. I shall see to it. I have a couple informants in that area. And I'm going to tell her this part telepathically. And one more thing. We do have reason to believe that the Impaler is still hunting you and your sister. We are looking into ways to protect her. We're looking into <laughs> ways to protect her. And in all honesty, it would possibly be... I'm not going to mention that. I'm actually not going to do that part. We're looking into ways to protect not... her. I have a few ideas that should stop her, or stop him from tracking her magically. If it's an issue of money, just ask. Yeah, you can't put a price on uh, on uh, even yeah. criminals. No, you can't put a price on protecting someone from that thing. Yeah, <laughs> that is good to know, though, that I have a, a source for the. The things I can for for because some of the some of my later plans will be a little more expensive. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, and again, you cannot. She she probably knows. Uh, given the age she's probably at, uh, you she would probably be well into knowing that there is no putting a price on keeping her family safe from that godforsaken thing. <laughs> yeah. That is. That is a monster if I've ever seen one. <laughs> um, with that, uh, she she steps back into her um, uh, carriage with well, the goons kind of go in first. She goes in last, turns around, waves at Clara one last time, and says, "See you soon." And then they just, with a crack of a whip, they drive off. Oh, right, I better add a hit die because I'm technically long resting right now. That, that seems like a good spot to end the session. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could also continue just a little we longer. Just just, to have... Yeah, we could continue. Let's end the session like now. I, guys... I, I, I need to end the session now. All right. All right. All right. Um, so, yeah, that was, the, that was the 18th session of Thieves Incorporated. Um, you can find the archival links on the archival videos on the YouTube channel. Thank you for anyone who watched. Uh, we will not be back next week, but we might be back the week after that. See you later.